Saka Fetch YouTube. Let's cook with me from start to finish. <laughs> So a clean pot I'm just going in with about a cup and a half of water and I've got my rich and creamy coconut milk and I'm gonna be putting about half a can in there see this just half a can I'm now going in with a pinch of salt some spring onion some fresh thyme and one scotch bonnet pepper see this gorgeous so I'm just going to allow that to boil for about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back to add our rice. As you can see guys, my coconut milk has been boiling for the past 10 minutes and this is where I like to go in with my washed rice. Okay, so I'm cooking a cup and a half of rice. So guys, as you can see, this is how it's looking. Okay, this is just gonna be so creamy. Now, you don't really want the liquid to dry up before this cooks. So what I like to do at this point, I like to just bring my heat down on the lowest, as you can see here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead with the lid and just put the lid on for about 10 minutes and let it steam on the lowest heat. And guys, this is just gonna be perfect. So in my bowl, I have about 500 grams of jumbo shrimp and it's already been cleaned and deveined. As you can see, I got it from Aldi here in the UK. Guys, nice and juicy. I absolutely love buying shrimp from them. Okay, so we need to season that. So I'm going to be adding just a little bit of my homemade green seasoning in there and some seafood and fish seasoning. And that is all I'm gonna be putting in my shrimp. I really love this seasoning. You can actually find it from Aldi here in the UK. So now I'm just mixing it up. And like I said, that is all you will need for your shrimp. Guys, this recipe is gonna be so quick and literally you will have some nice lunch, dinner, or whatever you're making in about 20 minutes. Okay, look at that. See how gorgeous the green seasoning makes it look look at that guys see how amazing the green seasoning makes it look so good I'm just gonna be going in with a little bit of dark soy sauce gorgeous this is about four or five tablespoons and I'm just gonna be adding some grated garlic to it And we're just going to mix it up. Now I'm going in with some clear honey. And you just want to put about. And you just want to put about a heaping tablespoon of clear honey. And just mix your honey with your soy sauce and garlic. See guys, you see how nice and creamy. Oh my goodness. All done. So let's get started with combining everything. So guys, I've got my gorgeous cast iron pan and this is where I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of oil. As you can see, I'm using this garlic infused olive oil. Regular oil will do, or if you wanna use butter, that's absolutely fine as well. your shrimp to cook for about a minute or two on both sides just till it's nice and pink as you guys know shrimp doesn't take that long to take time to flip it over as you can see the tails are starting to get nice and pink so you know it's probably time to be flipped over
and you just want to allow it to cook for a further one minute on that side before we take it out of our pot guys this looks so amazing absolutely gorgeous guys after about two three minutes this is time to remove our shrimp now bear in mind we will be cooking this shrimp for a further minute or so so i don't want to overcook it at this point okay so just take it out it looks so amazing see this yeah so now i'm just going in with my broccoli and you want to just saute your broccoli in the pot for about two three minutes okay you don't want to overcook this at all you want it to be nice and crunchy i like my broccoli to have a little crunch to it so this is why i love to do it like that so this is how my broccoli is looking and this is where i love to go in with my soya honey everything sauce okay it's got soy it's got honey it's got garlic yes and you just want to mix it up in there nicely. Okay guys, so you just want to mix that in nicely. Before going back in with your shrimp. Yes. This is just going to be so flavorful. I'm also adding some spring onions in there as well. I just love the fresh taste of spring onions whenever I'm making this. Guys, look at how amazing it looks. So in here I have some cornstarch, about half a teaspoon of cornstarch and I'm going to be putting it in here so that it can thicken up my sauce nicely for me. And guys, this is it. This is it all done. Look at how amazing it looks. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Now guys, you know the plantain is definitely a must, okay? Look at how amazing it looks. So guys, time to check on our rice. Whew, look at that. Guys, look at this. You see this? Yes. See how nice and fluffy? Oh my goodness. And this is just going to be so full of flavor. Oh my goodness. So guys, this is everything. We got my gorgeous fried plantains. Oh my goodness. We've got our honey, garlic, broccoli and shrimp. Oh my goodness, so delicious. And then to serve it, we have some coconut white rice. Yes, my darlings, absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a pleasure having you here. And I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.